a total team effort para sa Talking Decks. Time winding down here in the third. And we can look what they've done to Alaska. 45 points. And we're, we're winding up. We're winding down the last seconds of the third. Here's Deo Campo. Back outside, Alapag. Want to shoot. Jimmy fires. An offensive rebound. Castro. Oh, the basket is good. Make us have a foul. Everything going the way of talking text in this third period. If, if, if the play like that would be seen in the first three games, it would have been sure to be an Alaska rebound. But guys like Jason Castro have come up big. He missed the layup. Or, uh, well, that well, that was a power move earlier. Uh, brought in by Dirty Premium Formula. Dito ka nasa Yamato. But in this, uh, the reason why he's on the line, he missed an attempt. He got the offensive rebound. But, uh, he got the miss by Jimmy Alapala. Jimmy Alapala yep, and, uh, on line. Got the putback. And uh, right now, Toki takes on top. One second to go. Borburan, no. At the end of the third quarter, Talking Text stamping its dominance. 69 45, fourth quarter coming up. Cancer and Hematology Center of the Philippines. Sabado, PBA run for a cause. Sali po tayo lahat dyan, no? for a very noble um, cause. Uh, as you watch, the Wednesday crowd inside the Cuneta Astrodome para sa PBA semifinals here on Solar TV. Miko Halili kasama si Jason Webb. And Patricia Bermudez completes our triple threat. Mamaya naman, San Miguel and Pimate Berbiers resume their best of seven series. San Miguel naman. Ang magtatangkang uh, lumamang ng 3-1 in that contest. In the meantime, uh, here's Diamond Simpson as we begin the fourth and final quarter. Looking at the quarter scoring, kita natin all quarters going the way of the drop of Texas and the big quarters for the second and the third when they only limited the aces to 15 and 12. But when you look at it even on totality, not a single quarter given by the drop of Texas to the aces that the aces scored at the 20s and that's in yung range eh. if you can limit the other team under 20 you played good defense so ibig sabihin yan tatlong quarter uh, the drop of texters played good defense and Alaska is supposedly the team that can really keep it close with the drop of texters but not in this game not in this game uh, the, the, the drop of texters really everything has gone their way defensively going back to that Tolkien Tex already forcing 18 turnovers to Alaska while Alaska has not bothered the, the drop of Texter so much because some two bases lang nag-turn over yung, ano, yung uh, Tolkien Tex that's a difference of 8 possessions Mark Borboran clears the rebound and he is joined by Hugdatan, Simpson, De La Cruz and Fonashev right now Tim Cohn looking for players who can provide a spark who can ignite a big run by Alaska here in the fourth Fonashev 4-3 four, back to back this is now para kay Fonashev and talking text goes to Castro. Castro on the move. And Alapag will score the layup. That fast break, fast break right there, telling a lot because talking text, it was a three on one situation. Not a lot of the guys out there for Alaska able to go down and match the quickness that talking text is showing today. Well, this Alaska unit on the floor, as, a little bit uh, bigger. But well, they're big. But this is not a track team. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a running unit with Borboran for the share. Pugnatan Simpson and De La Cruz. Castro, very instrumental in that third quarter breakaway by Talking Text. Daniels outside Alapag. Alapag behind the back. Shot clock down to two. Jimmy fires all the way from Ross Boulevard. And Castro saves it to the wrong man. Here's Tony De La Cruz. Nasa mga unang bagay tayo ng fourth and final quarter. Alaska leads series two games to one. But Talking Tech so far looking good in their bid to tie this best of seven affair. Ponacher is fouled.
Foul against Castro, his uh, second personal. Let's go to Patricia. You know, before the fourth quarter, Miko coached him, which is calm and defensive. And he just went to the huddle and said, you know, he knows what these guys are made of, the Alaska Aces. They have to go down the floor and get stops and play heads-up basketball. He says they have a long way to go, not just in this game, but also in the series. Now, I also got to talk to uh, Mr. Rocky Trillio himself, and he says it's just alarming how the guys are just going through the motions right now. Maybe because they are ahead in the series, but he is upset how they don't have that killer's instinct. Nico, Jason? It is actually rather strange if, if, if Alaska entered this game uh, a little bit overconfident because, you know, outside of that game one route, two and Could three have gone were either way. very close. Yes. You know, it's quite noticeable that uh, the Tropon Texers, they came into this game with feeling that it was a must win and we talked about that it, and, and that was their mindset the, the aces so far um, uh, I w wouldn't think they came in here with you can't say that they came in here overconfident but you might say that they were surprised at how much energy talking text came up with as we look at the matchup right here of the imports it has gone Simpsons way the entire series but for the first time Sean Daniels has kept it close and you can say one of the big reasons why talking text is up big. Sean Daniels has just been severely outplayed uh, by Simpson. But as we mentioned, you have to take it into consideration. Yung papel ni Sean Daniels with talking text, iba talaga eh. I mean, he's not really a go-to import in the way that Diamond Simpson is. In the meantime, here's Sam Eman. Sends it to Borboran. Shot locked down to four. Shot locked down to one, and Borboran fires, and that's a three. Good bailout chart for the Mark Borboran, but then how many times, Nico, have you said shot clock going down? That's a, you can also say, much of that has to do with the defense that Talking Texas plays. Here's Dillinger, crossover move, and he was uh, foiled by Sam Eman. May tatawagan ng foul dito. It's against Sam Eman. Second personal laban kay Eman, second team foul laban sa Alaska. So two free throws para kay Jared Dillinger. 20 points. Yan ang lamang ng talking text. They're doing it without Ryan Reyes. So Ryan Reyes, we, we don't know how long he's going to be sidelined. But then, this is a team deep enough to actually survive one guy going down. That free throw brought to you by BMEC Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na sa Yaman. Biggest lead by Talking Text in this game was at 24 points. De La Cruz. Borboran. De La Cruz again. And a miss by Borboran. And Ugnatan will miss again. It's been that kind of night para sa Alaska. Here's Alapak, slices through, sets up Dillinger, Dillinger 4-3. And an offensive rebound, Alapak sets it back out to Dillinger, bagong shot clock for Talking Text. And it seems that every time the ball goes on the floor, it has gone the way of Talking Text. Those loose ball situation, which really uh, entails the other players having a lot of energy and desire, yun nakikita natin here sa Talking Text. Eh. Here's Deo Campo, outside Dillinger, shot clock down to three. Harvey Carey has to shoot here. He passes to Castro. <laughs> Jason Castro. At the same time, the shot clock was running out. So time out on Alaska, 7-22 remaining. Talking text on top. Big. The 2010 FIBA World Basketball Championships happens on August 29, all the way to September 13. Uh, and then uh, followed Team USA in their bid uh, to compete in Turkey. Catch all of that, Solar TV and BTV. But it ties up in ball game. It's a game four of this best of seven semifinals. Topex Robinson in the game for the first time para sa Alaska. And a high low play intended for Sam Eman. Somebody reaching in might be Randy Del Deo Camp. So well, this game may be uh, getting out of reach right now for Alaska. You can see Coach Tim Cole trying to set up plays 
in which uh, at least you can see yung mga players uh, to set it up and uh, maybe some uh, players that he can put on his put it into his memory bank for future use magamit ka rin.